All right, so let's take a look at the Chiefs and their passing game. And I know we've made a lot about the receivers and not being able to catch the ball consistently and all of those different things. And I, I wonder, as I watch the tape, how much it's affecting this guy right here in Patrick Mahomes. He is so good at playing inside the pocket on top of all the special stuff that he does that I'm not seeing that same sort of play from him this year. Okay, so we've got a pressure look right here. And what we're going to have is we're going to have the release here, and this is going to be a corner route, a little pivot here, and then Travis Kelsey is going to come off of this and run what we call an influence. Okay, so yeah, we have a pressure look up here, but as long as it's protected, Patrick's usually going to look at this guy first and see what he does. If he stays down, his number one read oftentimes is this guy right here. Now, like I said, there's a pressure look, so feeling a little bit uncomfortable right? Maybe stepping up in the pocket as he's getting that pressure off the edge. But you're going to see as this plays out, Marcus Peters comes down. There's a little bit of interference right here. And you're going to see Travis Kelsey come open on this backside. Uh, Patrick, again, there's the pressure, not very good protection right there. But normally I'm going to see Patrick step up and try to find this open area right here. Okay, pressure, he tries to throw it up, receiver gets banged, runs into another guy, all kinds of issues. You see Travis Kelsey running free. Okay, that's forgivable. Pressure there, forcing him to throw it a little bit quick. No problem. I fully get why that's the case. All right, so let's keep on working through the tape from last week. Okay, so... Here's another one. We've got what we call a four strong look. Okay, so we've got four guys over here, solo receiver over there. Solo receiver is pretty much dead to the backside. We've got safety help over the top, but we're often taught to go ahead and look at it anyways, trying to draw the defenders over to that side. No problem. And then they're going to run a little hook, corner, and then they're going to run what I call a swing with a lead, okay? So we got a lead blocker for the swing, all right? So again, Patrick looks left, not there. Gonna come back to the middle, not there, covered. Great pocket right here. Normally, Patrick's going to look at this high low here or just kick it out here to the swing. So you see, if he kicks it out to the swing right there, we got a lead blocker in front of us, we're in great shape. Instead, Patrick taking off, getting a little impatient back here, looks at one, ah, and then just takes off instead of reading through it. Again, nice gain right here, picking up a play with his legs, but little things that I'm seeing. Is he impatient back there because of what's going on around him? Okay, so here's another one. Favorite play of theirs, it's just Travis Kelsey on a little choice route. He can run any which way and just run a corner route over the top so you see he's open like this is about as open as you're going to get on a choice route two defenders back there patrick's got a decent pocket and again see the impatience by him back there even with his main guy now let's just talk a little teaching tape right here like i understand the location of my corner route here i don't want to get too wide here but i want to try to widen this see if i can get marcus peters to widen still hold uh, my position there and get outside. Why is that important? Because I want to widen Marcus Peters so I can open up a bigger window for my choice route, okay? Instead of going in here tight, plus it can help me get leverage on the safety, go in there tight, doesn't force him with width and makes it a little bit tighter here for the choice. So just little details right there. And again, I don't care if you go inside of him, just widen, let him widen, then come up inside of him. But we're just trying to widen that window there. And by the same token, I'd love to see Travis, and I know they don't do it this way, I'd love to see Travis attack Marcus Peters here. Why would I attack Marcus Peters? Talked a little bit about this in a teaching tape last week because I know I've got a corner route over the top. So I wanna attack that outside defender so that outside defender is in a bind. He wants to stay down on the choice, boom. Easy for the quarterback to go up over the top. If he wants to get depth, now I've widened into this hole, staying away from that next linebacker that's there. 
But again, biggest thing here is Patrick. For some reason, Patrick's kind of looking down the middle of the field here. I don't know what he's looking at or what shot he's looking to take, but a little impatient again on a throw. Now we got to scramble around and we got to throw it away. Red zone, again, this is all stuff that I point out because I know how good Patrick is at all this stuff and I know how well he sees the field that this stuff's kind of just getting, uh, it's getting just a little bit weird for me to see this happen so many times within the course of the game, okay? So we're gonna run uh, a little route here, up over the top. We're gonna run a swing route over to that side or flat route, okay? So you see it kind of layers here, going up here, coming back to the inside, running the flat, okay? So this is really all about numbers because back to this side, we're going to run with this guy coming back to the inside. So I want to read this off of numbers, okay? If I get more numbers over to this side, so it really is dependent on this Mike linebacker right here, okay? So I expect this guy to play deep even though he's in a tighter position here. His responsibility is deep. So I've got one, two underneath defenders over here that I will read against these three receivers, okay? On the other side, I really have one, underneath defender here against those two guys so i like that relationship but it all comes down to this guy does this guy get added over here to become number three or does he get added over to the other side to become number two okay so as a quarterback i'm coming back and i'm looking at that guy okay right away he pushes over here getting into a position to take this away because otherwise we can isolate this defender throw it up over the top mike linebacker goes that direction now I'm going to work off of that to the back side. And you see right there, you see that easy throw that's going to be a touchdown on the back side because all the numbers are pushed to the front side. Again, don't expect every quarterback to see everything. I just expect Patrick to see some of these things because I've seen him make these kind of plays numerous times in the past. And it just looks a little bit off this year from what I've seen. And I'm starting to wonder if not only are we questioning the things that are going on around Patrick Mahomes, but is it affecting Patrick Mahomes and the way he can play the position starting from inside the pocket, okay? So nice job right here. It's a play that we call knife. So it's down the middle of the field. We got two safeties high, so what we call middle open, okay? And then we're gonna replace right there with Travis Kelsey. So this read in cover two is off that Mike linebacker. Mike linebacker comes down, stays down, boom, I'm gonna hit it up over the top. Mike linebacker goes up over the top, I'm going to replace inside. So good read right here by Patrick, boom, balls out. See the Mike linebacker turn, cover the guy down the middle of the field, let's hit the void, boom, we're in good shape. I'm showing you that because there's going to be another look at it here in just a second. Okay, so here's a play that's, uh, that the Chiefs like to run. So we call this TC. He's motioning out here, and these guys are running a go route. Okay, we're going to run Travis Kelsey to the flat, and we're going to try to pull the flat defender out, and then we're going to run our T, our tailback, on the seam right here. So if I get this particular look with one high, we're trying to influence that guy, uh, with that influence post, get him to stay high, lean towards the back, and then if I get a pull by this linebacker outside, trying to get this seam right here. So as we watch this play out, okay, you see what we get. We get a really deep safety right here. We get this guy clearing out with that go route, and again, good pocket. Patrick's already ready to take off. This is a window and a throw that Patrick is going to make 90% of the time. Okay, if you don't like that and you feel like this guy's getting too much depth, no problem. You've got your throw right in front of you. So that's really what we're reading. It clears out in that area, reading these guys too deep, drop it off to Travis Kelsey right there. But there's the seam. You see it coming right there? That's normally going to be a throw that Patrick makes every single time. That big of a window down the field. But again, impatient in the pocket. See how he's moving already? Moving, moving, got to come to the check down and missing some opportunities that are out there in front of him.
Okay, so you remember I talked about that knife combination. Okay, so we just ran it. Just ran it there, and what do we say? Okay, we got two safeties up here, reading this defender right here. We go in here, if this defender comes down, ready to hit that right up over the top. Patrick's done this a million times. Boom, there it is. Right there, there's the throw. Again, a little pressure on the side, but he sees that right there. See how he's already pump faking it like he, he thinks he's going to throw the one underneath? Now, maybe, I, you know, if this guy's deep enough, no problem. I, I'm okay with that. That guy's deep enough right here. Go ahead and take him. Throw it. Give it to him right now. One of those two guys is open. Patrick's usually going to wait and try to get the one down the field, but I'm okay if you say that that guy's open. But again, pulling it down instead of making the throw, hesitating on some of these decisions, and great, he goes and makes one of those special Patrick Mahomes plays, but I'm talking about playing within structure, which has always been his strongest suit. Even though all that scrambling and stuff is great, he is so good inside the pocket at making plays and seeing things right off the bat. Okay, so here we go again. We talked about that influence post. Okay, we got that influence post. We saw it on the first play, a little bit of pressure. So, okay, we're going to forgive that one. Okay, we're going to come back and we're going to run that influence post again. We're going to get rotation to the middle of the field. So what we're looking at is this guy here. If he stays down, can't tell you how many times he threw this to Tyreek Hill on this, you know, inside influence post to the backside numbers over and over and over again. This is something that nobody hits more than Patrick Mahomes. So we get the corner to stay down on the backside. Corner to stay down on the backside. You know when that happens as a quarterback. There is nobody left for this area there. Good protection. We're all good. First place to look. There it is. There it's coming. Okay, so it looks like here we're going to have basically a double post here. And then we're going to get Travis to, to run out here. He sits it down because he's got two guys on him. But look at that throw right there to Watson. Open right there. Still has time in the pocket to see that. There's the throw, once again, holding, hesitating, maybe getting stuck on Travis saying, I just expect him to get open or he's the guy I trust, but missing big play opportunities across the board. Leads to a sack right there. Okay, so again, another one, just impatience. Hook, swing. Okay, we got the perfect look. Cornerback is off. I've got one underneath the fender to that side. One underneath the fender to that side. So where's he going to go? Does he slow through it? I'll kick the swing out there. Does he run hard to the swing? I'll take the hook. Boom, right there. There it is. Okay, so he's already going backside. Now, again, Patrick is really good. Maybe he had his eyes on Spillane right here, and he moved him that direction and said, I know I'm going to move him and I'm going to come right back to Travis. Maybe that's a, I'm not comfortable with everybody else. I'm going to try to move him and get back to Travis because I'm comfortable with Travis. All of that stuff. But at the end of the day, you got to play the play. You got to play what's out there and you got to trust your guys. And I'm starting to wonder, is that lack of trust affecting the way number 15 is playing? Because this is a completion right here every single time for Patrick Mahomes. He is throwing that thing. He sees it. He knows ahead of time. As soon as he gets run there, boom, ball is out of his hands. This guy's nowhere close to being able to take that away because of his starting location. And again, we get a completion. So we're moving. It's not terrible, but we're not getting what we've seen Patrick Mahomes get before. We're not getting that comfort and patience in the pocket to kind of see things in front of him and make the proper play instead of missing some of those things because there may be some discomfort around him.